solid, most humble, hardworking guys I know. I certainly think Sean and I are working class guys. We built the whole tap room ourselves. We're, we're guys that aren't afraid to get our hands dirty and really prefer it that way. We spend so much time together day by day that we communicate on such a intricate level that the decisions are kind of all already made by the time we get there. So when we first walked into this space, I think uh, when you stand in it, you realize there's, there's kind of a real presence here. It kind of feels like an old school factory. It's kind of the, the feel that we, we wanted to put into Buckle Down. It took some, uh, some vision, I think, to uh, to kind of look at a place that was in a real rough state when we got it and think about what it could be and, and how it could come together for us. We've always said we're all about working with our hands and working hard, um, and I think that's what happens in places like this. I'm a home brewer by, uh, by trade, that's not, that's not the right term, but uh, really had, had a dream of, uh, of opening up a production brewery. Met Sean, kind of discovered a mutual love for beer, Talked through the idea and started kind of brainstorming, figuring it out, and, and really since then it's just uh, been, uh, buckling down and, and doing it. When we thought about names. Really, that that was kind of where we started from. It's like, what do we as individuals, as business owners, as brewers, want to stand for? Buckle down is really a uh, representation of the way Sean and I like to do business. The way we approach things in the world, it's you gotta, gotta get after it and kind of chase after your dreams and that really involves buckling down and, and doing the work and getting after it and having a blast and that's really where it came from, it's just uh, representative of who we are. Creativity is a big part of brewing too, so our kind of slogan is creativity and determination. Having one of Ike's beers after another, I could just get behind it. I mean, it was so simple. These are great beers to start with. Don't be an idiot not to have fun with it. Batch one is going to be uh, belt and suspenders. It's a pretty assertively hopped, uh, traditional American IPA. It's a really delicious beer. It's really hoppy. To me, uh, IPA is all about, all about the hops. Fiddlesticks is our uh, Belgian. IPA. As a starting point, it's uh, hoppy American beers and Belgian-inspired beers. You know, because again, that's what that's what Sean and I like to drink. I like a good stout. I like some barrel-aged stuff. But uh, beautiful thing about a 15-barrel system is we can we can do it. We can brew it. We're in a nice nimble position where we can experiment and play around a little bit. With the emphasis on craft beer and people starting to drink it more, uh, locals becoming more and more important. And so we want people to be able to get it right down the street. I think it's one of the things that really sets local apart from, from macro, national, global brands is I want to talk to my customers. I want to explain to them the passion and the, the thought process that went into all the beers. And I think that interaction is, is absolutely critical. You know, when you can talk to the owners and talk to the brewer and really you know, get that inside glimpse at a local business. I think that's what, what people are looking for right now. The beer is awesome. I've tried all three, yeah. I like all of them. They're great. Three for three. Like, uh, yeah, they nailed it. All three were fantastic. The IPA in particular, it's got a lot of hop presence, but it's not in the bittering side. It's kind of more on the flavor and aroma side. It's a very balanced beer with everything that you would want in a porter. I'm very proud when we have local businesses doing awesome fun projects and putting together great companies like this. They're in a great town, a great beer town, and they're definitely going to make a name for themselves. The first beers that we've poured out of our brewery in Lyons. I hope you guys enjoy the beer and uh, please come out to Lyons to visit the brewery and, uh, and enjoy the beer the rest of the night. Thanks very much. Over the past year, putting this uh, brewery together, I don't know if there's anything that could have prepared me for what we've been through so far, and who knows what's to come. <laughs>